Welcome to Ornaments of Grace, stories for Advent and Christmas. Today's Gospel on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception comes from St. Luke. And coming to Mary, the angel said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Mother Teresa entered the Sisters of Loretto in India in 1928 and made her final profession there in 1937. She said, I was the happiest nun at Loretto. I dedicated myself to teaching. In 1946, she wrote, while going by train from Calcutta to Darjeeling to participate in spiritual exercises, I was quietly praying when I clearly felt a call, a call within my calling. The message was very clear. I had to leave the convent and consecrate myself to helping the poor by living among them. It was a command. I knew where I had to go, but I did not know how to get there. How much this was like Mary's call, to be the mother of Jesus. Mary did not understand how it could be, but she knew that God was calling her. In 1948, Mother Teresa finally received permission to live as a religious sister outside the convent. She took off her habit and put on a white sari like one worn by the poorest women in India. Mother Teresa added a blue border to her sari, desiring to imitate the Virgin Mary. She left Calcutta to take an accelerated three-month course in nursing and then returned to Calcutta to serve the poorest of the poor in the slums. In 1949, a former student of Mother Teresa joined her. Then, many more of her students followed, wanting to give everything to the Lord. In 1950, on the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, Rome authorized the order of the Missionaries of Charity. In 1952, on the Feast of Mary Immaculate, a home was opened for dying destitutes and was immediately filled to capacity. By 1960, the Missionaries of Charity had 25 homes in India. By 1990, when Mother Teresa was 80, 168 homes had been opened throughout India alone, with many more globally. While Mother Teresa was not immaculately conceived as Mary was, she learned from Mary's example by saying yes to the Lord as Mary did and listening to the call of the Holy Spirit. Mother Teresa grew to have a pure and open heart through which many would come to know the loving kindness of Jesus. Saint Mother Teresa is our seventh ornament of grace. Coming to Mary, the angel said, 
Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Observing the beautiful ornaments, what are some ways you can offer yourself with a pure heart to our God who loves us so much? How can you keep saying yes to the call of the Lord as Mother Teresa did on a daily basis?